Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the echo. This room just got new carpet. This is our guest bedroom and I normally do all my <laughs> photos in here, outfit things. Um, but I wanted to share a new fall haul with you guys and I'm so excited about it because I got some really, really cute stuff uh, that I can't wait to share with you. So, uh, this is my favorite season as you guys know and I wanted this to be like more casual. I was also filming outfits as I was doing this. I just realized I forgot one of them so I'm going to have to hurry up and get that done. But really quick, before we even get started, I just want to show you guys the view that I have. Don't mind the windows because they need to be cleaned, but oh my gosh. Look at her. Oh my goodness. Is that not amazing? If you follow me on my blog channel, you know I'm obsessed with Mount Rainier. That's what that is. It's Mount Rainier. Um, it's just so beautiful. And she's like, it's funny because yesterday, off topic for a second, it's funny because yesterday I was telling Davis, I was like, oh my gosh. So she got more snow on her this last week or so. And she just like has so much clarity. It's like, you know, when you're editing photos and stuff and like sharpness and all of that, she's just like... She's sharp. She's looking good. This video is sponsored by Nordstrom. I do want to say I did purchase everything though. Um, so all opinions are my own and everything like that. But I'm so excited to be working with them to share this with you guys. And just show you a bunch of these new pieces that are fall. Which is really exciting. I love these. So I tried to style them up as best I could in the video. I'm also 33 weeks and 4 days pregnant. So, <laughs> leggings are my best friend. First off, I do want to say that these were actually a Nordstrom anniversary find. If you watched my anniversary sale that I did a, oh my gosh, was it a couple months ago? I don't even know. They're so good. Good if you're not pregnant. Good if you're pregnant. I'm wearing a size small in all of mine. But seriously, the color, like black and white have definitely been my most worn. If you watched one of my previous videos, you know I love the Alien perfume from Mug... Muggler, I think that's how you say it. I love it. So when I was browsing their beauty section, I saw that they had this lotion, and I was like, ooh, I really want that. This is the heaviest component ever. Like, it is luxurious. This is the same exact scent as the perfume. You know, you expect that, but sometimes they can smell a little bit different. This smells the exact same. I'm keeping this on top to keep it clean. Oh my gosh, but this is great like if you want to wear it all over like on your body or one of the things I like to do with stuff like this so I'll put it specifically on like my forearms and my neck and then spray perfume and I feel like it helps it like last a little bit longer but totally up to you depending on what you want to do. This is so good. If you love the perfume, you would love this. Oh, and then I got this new Makeup Forever Ultra HD setting powder. Nordstrom was the first place I saw this on and I snagged it up really fast. It comes with a puff in a little sleeve which I think is great I have not used this yet you have this really big container but since it said it's a matte setting powder I was just really gravitating towards it so I'm gonna try it out see what I think it's really nice lightweight this would be good for travel and I like that they include a little puff in here I think that's just awesome so I do love to buy like Dior Chanel all of that from the Nordstrom website I feel like they have really good samples too of high-end products whenever you buy certain things so one of the things I got from there is the Dior crayon eyeliner this is the waterproof eyeliner I really like it I've been using it probably for the last week or so and I haven't noticed my eyeliner running or anything like that and I've done a lot of smoky looks it's been really nice it's very very creamy super black and then you do have the sponge on the end if you want to smudge it out this is the last thing I got from them I've mentioned this before I I don't think you've actually seen the video yet <laughs> but I know there's one coming up so this is Anastasia stick blush in soft rose I love this but my favorite way to apply it is warm it up on the back of my hand get some color take a duo fiber brush from it cosmetics and I apply it to my cheeks and I feel like it just gives the prettiest flush and it's not overpowering or anything like that I love it and I was really nervous at first because I heard some people say like it was dewy and usually when I hear things like that I'm like oh probably not for my oily skin but this is really good apply it with a brush I have been loving it I don't ever use the brush on this side I think it's too dense for me but it's a really great product in general I don't really ever buy more affordable purses just because I usually invest in my purses or in my shoes things like that but there's certain trends I just will not invest in um, like kind of like the Bottega look I just don't I just can't get myself to invest in one of those bags even though I think they're pretty I just don't think they're gonna last long 
This is like that vibe for me. I think this is a very fun, trendy bag, but if this was like thousands of dollars, I would not buy it. This is really, really nice. The chain is nice on this. It feels really good. I loved like the leather on this. I think it's such a fun way to like dress up an outfit. This color spoke to me as well. I just thought it was gorgeous. And then you open it up and you have quite a bit of room in there. You've got card holders. You can put your makeup, your iPhone, all of that in there. I really loved it. This is the brand House of Want, and they have a bunch of different colors, but this one just spoke to me for fall. I love the gold chain, and I just, I think it's so beautiful, so definitely check that out. And I am so, I know everybody else is right now, but I am so into Western shoes. I love these so much. They are more expensive, but the quality is amazing. I love, like, the distressed look that they have. This little toe is gorgeous. They're made really well. I mean, these are such great quality and these are gorgeous with like capri style pants or like girlfriend pants that are a little bit shorter. Oh, they're so cute, you guys. And like Western is very in for this season. So this is the item I forgot to try on and I can't wait to try it on for you. This is an oversized um, top. Yeah, oversized fit. This is in a size medium. So this is from Nike. Oh, I love it. I have something similar to this from Adidas that I got in the Nordstrom sale that you guys probably saw, but it's like more lime. I love that sweatshirt. And then I love that this is full length, but still has that oversized feel. So I'll have everything tried on in the sidebar so you can check it out. But love this. They had a few other colors. They have a really pretty like stone color available too. I'll also link all the stuff below as well. Um, okay, favorite flannels. Again, free people, I'm telling you. Free people always has my favorite flannels. And this is one that I originally saw on the free people website and it was sold out. It sells out really fast when it comes back. But this is the same flannel that I wore in Barry, which I'll attach a picture here. I also got that in Nordstrom and I got the other color too. Like this flannel is one of my favorites because it's a little bit thicker. It's oversized, but like you can wear it as a cardigan. You can wear it as a shirt. You have a lot of different options with it. But this one, I don't know, it's between this one and the Barry one that's like my favorite. I can't decide which one's like top tier. Oh my gosh. I love it love it and with the um and i styled it for the first time today with those faux leather leggings and i was just like this is it one of my favorite ways to style this which i did with the berry a few weeks ago is to like get some light wash denim i can't lift my leg up here i hooked i tried but it wasn't gonna work some light wash denim a tight white tee layer this on top of that and then put a light wash oversized denim jacket on top and these boots Goodbye. Another trend that I am just loving for fall, believe it or not, which just takes me back to like, what, maybe high school? When was this a trend? It was a trend a long time ago. I haven't seen it like become a thing thing until now. But leather vests or faux leather vests. Oh my gosh, this one's from Levi's and I loved this color. Another trend that I'm loving is just like deep rich browns, like chocolate browns, caramel browns, like brown everything I just love it this is such a high quality vest you guys like oh my gosh this is gonna fit me really well once I deliver this baby too um, because I can't really zip it up right now I did get a size medium which would definitely be my true size another free people item but I'm sorry this is just they have such good stuff it's like every time and when you're pregnant free people is honestly one of the best ways to go because you can get things that would be your normal size and get away with it um as you're pregnant and then wear it after pregnancy too just because the style is oversized relaxed fit this one i love i've worn this numerous times and i really love to layer it with tops underneath as well you could kind of wear it off the shoulder it has that really wide neck you can wear it with a really cute um bralette tuck it in the front have some gorgeous light wash denim on i mean you have so many options it's adorable so again with the flannel absolutely absolutely love this this is from steve madden i snagged this thing so fast i saw that they have another pattern too it's it's definitely more western i almost got it and i realized it was the same jacket this color combo is everything it is more of an oversized fit too what size did i get a medium right yeah, I got a medium. So this is BB Dakota Steve Madden. The neckline of this, I just love the collar. I love collars that like kind of stand up. 
um, especially if you layer that with like a little turtleneck or something it is very very cute I just love high neck things and I love when things kind of come up to my ears this is what it looks like you'll see it like I said in the side panel but it does have the sleeves that are um, the cuffs are a little bit longer and I like to pull whatever sleeve I'm wearing down a little bit more. This dress I'm going to return. I actually filmed this on my vlog camera so you'll see that footage here in just a second but I'm merely returning this because the fit just isn't there for me for my belly and all that. I was hoping this would be like super tight to really accentuate the belly for our maternity pics that I have coming up but it just wasn't there but the quality is really nice like it's a very very thick knit dress. This area you see like the boobs how they have like those like that, I don't know, it doesn't look really right on bigger boobies, you know? Maybe just mine. But I got this in a medium and it was still pretty big on me, so maybe size down if you're looking into getting this. Depending on the fit that you want, I wanted something very tight. Uh, but this is a great modest dress. This could also look really cute with like a pair of boots like this, because I had also bought the cream one. Um, I bought them in store before I actually tried them on. Oh, I got this sweatshirt, so free people... <laughs> Is this a free people haul? Probably so. But I really like it because I don't have anything with this kind of neckline. It's like a boat neck but turtleneck. Boat neck, turtleneck? A boat neck? Really cute. Very long. I mean some of you could probably wear this as a dress depending on your height. I'm 5'4". I could probably get away with it if I wore shorts underneath. But I would love to pair this with like brown faux leather leggings or like if you're gonna wear this as a dress pairing it with like knee-high brown leather boots or like over the knee boots. This jacket is a freaking thermal, borderline sweatsuit. If you're in a cold climate, you will love it. Uh, I just love the puffiness of it. Puffy jackets are really in this year too. I know they have this in black as well. The hood on this is incredible. So like if you're in an area that's super snowy, like if I was at Fort Drum or something, I would have used the crap out of this. Um, even if Davis and I go to like a ski resort, stuff like that, this is going to be a go-to and I feel like it's just it's just show. <laughs> it's so chic and beautiful and I just love it. Like this is such a great jacket. Very, very warm. Last thing I have is like this basic knit cardigan. This is so pretty. I love the sleeves. It kind of gives you that, um, I don't know if billow is the right word, but it gives you those kind of puffy sleeves which are gorgeous and it's longer and this is like a great kind of like a blanket cardigan you could just throw on head out the door wear it around the house whatever you want to do okay guys that is it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it let me know if you had a favorite item down below in the comments if you guys want me to do more like clothing hauls i can definitely do that for you i do a lot of fashion stuff on my Instagram, especially like dressing a bump and all of that and like finding transition pieces. Um, Instagram is one of the best places to follow for all of that kind of stuff if that is what interests you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>